Hi guys, long time no see. Okay, I'm trying to get this thing to like back it up a little bit. So I'm gonna look like I don't have no hair. I got my hair tied up. It's quarantine time. It's a pandemic. And I didn't feel like putting on any, I got all this junk over here, over here. I didn't plan on putting on any makeup because I have to leave out and I'm gonna have to put my mask on and I don't wanna have that stuff um, on my face. Um, well, the makeup on my face and having to put a mask on. So I figured I would do a vlog style, what I picked up at the Sephora vib sale haul <laughs> video so um i have this big old bag and i think i put everything in it's in this sally bag. this is a lot of shit i can't even believe it um i'm gonna start with these two things when i'm gonna take all day i'm gonna try to link everything down, down below i know the sale is over but you never know we shop at sephora all the time so there you go so first off i picked up the new veil stuff from hourglass so i picked up the eye primer which i don't really use but i just did it anyway because it was on sale and it comes in a little packaging like this this is kind of teeny weeny teeny weeny teeny weeny and i'm assuming it has one of those little pointy tops it looks like it looks like it might be like a creamy pink pinkish color i'm not gonna open it well squirt it out or anything it's. and then what i really wanted was the soft focus setting spray and i've already tried the sprayer and it's really nice very nice sleek packaging hourglass always does a good job with packaging i don't know if you guys can see it it says to shake well so i'm gonna give it a shake oh my eyes are dark under here i probably should put on some concealer or something but whatever and if i can show you guys look at that pretty nice i don't want to waste too much of my spray my expensive spray moving right along i put this bag in my um and i still have like one little order i'm waiting on that i placed like last minute on the day of sale and of course um the packages are like all over the place i'm not even gonna lie stuff was saying it was coming it wasn't coming I would get it the stuff that wasn't coming was coming it's just a mess but in my first couple of orders I picked up this watermelon toner from glow recipe you guys I've already started using this because I couldn't take it anymore and it's lovely so now I can take it out and get rid of the box since I showed you guys but it's very nice packaging it's glass so be careful but this stuff is amazing. I swear, I had like a breakout on my chin. I'm having some hormonal acne. I put that on at night. That pimple went away. I had a white head. It was gone. It's just, it's, it's just doing things for me. I don't have the best skin, of course, but I'm working on it. I am working on it. And I think this will definitely help me out. So I can get rid of that big old box. What else? keeping with the skincare the next thing that's glorifying in the skincare routine is this fresh rose deep hydration oil infused serum i went back and forth and i finally ended up picking this up and i started using it when i started using the glow recipe watermelon toner and it's a godsend it's a godsend like i'm not even playing it has this consistency where you have the oil like on the top and then the liquid down the bottom and you just shake it up and it all mixes it mixes together i use a cotton pad to put it on um it says to put it in your palms so I, but i've done both ways i did it the first time at night and when i woke up my skin was like flawless the hydration lasts all day being as though i did like a thorough skincare at night the next morning i just used one of the sephora coconut cleansing wipes i really didn't even need to put any moisturizer on if i really didn't want to because my skin was just so mwah, voluptuous i love it um i also picked up the fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment essence 
So I've been trying to incorporate this into my skincare, which this is just something you put on your skin and it helps your other stuff that you put on over top of it to sink in better. Sink in better. And I just picked up the smaller one because uh, your girl's being cheap and they want to buy the big one. But it has the little like kombucha inside. This camera is showing it. And I'll give this a shake and I'll put this on. So I've been doing this, then this. And then this lovely vessel right here. And I must say, my skin feels amazing. I've also been using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream at night when I put that on. So that's adding more moisture also. And during the day, I've been using the Farsali 24 Karat Gold Moisturizer, which I really like. It's it's very water liquidy um, when you put it on, but it does soak in the skin really well. I have it on today. Okay, okay, okay. Um, something else that's skincare. Oh, this came in a little plastic bag. This is the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. And I haven't used this yet, but I heard, I believe Kathleen Lights talk about it. And um, I have little bumps like on the back of my arm or whatever. And I figured I could try this to see if it would help. Um, but it's like an exfoliant. So we'll see how that goes what else what else what else okay i might as well just go ahead oh no i'll keep with some skin here um i picked up some more of my hum daily cleanse i've been taking these for a while now um in the beginning i felt like they were working pretty good but then after that i didn't know because i started like skipping them so i don't know if that like did something but um i've been trying to be consistent now so i bought another another bottle to stay consistent um then i also picked up the drunk elephant sweet pity deodorant cream and i heard about this from diana Chantel here on um youtube and on her instagram i think but um i'm interested to try this i've been basically using natural deodorant for a while and <laughs> i don't know if this is tmi i should probably do a video on skincare or something or body care but i felt like the odor which i didn't believe that i had before would start to penetrate quicker using a deodorant that doesn't have aluminum and things like that in it but i don't think my underarms agree with aluminum though so I'm going to try this and see what happens. She spoke very highly of it. So it says it's formulated to soothe and moisture delicate underarm skin while keeping odor at bay. Suitable for all skin, including sensitive sweet pity, is free of baking soda, essential oils, and aluminum derived ingredients. So we'll see how that goes and I will try to update you all. Do I have any more skincare? Okay, um, bump the skincare. We're just going to jump into the makeup stuff. And of course, you know, I had to bust out the fancy. I had to do it. I, it's, it was just, it was there. I was waiting. I was mad that they even put the daggone picture out before they were planning, months before they were planning on releasing it. But hey, it is what it is. I'm trying to dig in this bag because I know I have like more up um i think i have the purple one too oh, here goes some more i'm trying to get this stuff not this one, where the video isn't 50 years long so i picked up rose latte and the cream blush drama class which is that purple that purple color drama class i picked up strawberry drip fuego flush and daiquiri dip um i'm waiting on a petal popping <laughs> on a petal popping let me pop in on a handstand i'm waiting on petal popping because everybody kept speaking so highly of it and i don't know why i missed it i think andrea renee liked it jackie anna liked it so but initially andrea renee put it up and i was like mm, let me go back and get it so i'm waiting on that i think it might have come today but i ordered it off of Fenty's website because I think Sephora was sold out but whatever so I'll have a total of six blushes I picked I got a a cream bronzer 
in the shade Teddy. I'm hoping this will work for me. And this is a bigger size, like the regular size bronzers. Uh, I've been kind of organizing. So they're probably like the same size as the powder bronzers that she has. And I also picked up the 125 face shaping brush, which came out with these. I have like a lot of her brushes and I really like them. And from what I've seen, this applies the product very well. So I'm excited to try this because I loves me a makeup brush. This little plastic thing they put on, it's always hella hard to get off. But this is what she looks like. She's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Like, yeah, she'll fit like, right there in that little crevice. So that's what I'm doing with that Fenty. I'm going to get rid of like all these damn boxes of shit. Oh, I missed the skincare item. I also picked up the Mount, Mount Lai Rose Court Eyes Massaging Tool. How is this going to focus? There she is. And if you open it up, it's this little pretty cute tool. If I can get it open. And it looks like this. I'm not going to take it out. But she's pretty. Come on, camera. There she is. She's pretty, and you just hold it, and it's really cold, and you just hold it and rub it right under your eye, and it fits right under there. That's Jordan I'm making a full of so. Um. Okay. Okay. What else? Um. I picked up the Kosas Tinted Face Oil, and I got 7.5, which is deep tan with warm undertones. I don't even know how I'm gonna like this, but we shall see. What? popping with this some people had good reviews other people didn't um i'm oily so i'm probably gonna have to set it but we'll see how that works out next 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 i should have did a little thing where i like dip down in the bag and just like take it out okay i had to take a break because i knew jordan was gonna try to come interrupt me and she have no clothes on but a pajama shirt Okay, moving right along. I'm gonna do a mystery and just grab in here and grab some stuff. Okay, <laughs> both lip products. So I picked up the Artist Couture Silk Cream Lipstick and Power Play. I have the palette um, from the Supreme Nudes collection, but I got that off of his website. And I picked up Saucy Gal Lipstick, but I picked up this is what the packaging looks like. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it, but. I just want to say these lipsticks are gorgeous and I'm glad I picked up this color because it was sold out but it came back in stock which a lot of the stuff did on Sephora's website so I'm just going to swatch it look at that that's gorgeous like I'm not even going to play it's 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 gorgeous I'm very excited about that so put that in my lipstick stash and i also picked up white beauty power move creamy matte lip crown and i picked up the shade amaretto gorgeous shade as well i hope this video isn't like 50 years long this packaging is gorgeous they switched it up a little bit and it has the color on the bottom and you take it off and it's a little crown tip And that's that color. So we have Power Play by Artist Couture and then Amaretto by Bite Beauty. And I'm excited. Uh oh, sorry. Um, oh, this fell out of the bag, so I'll do this one. This is the Sephora Clear and Cover Acne Treatment Cream Concealer with 2% salicylic acid. And I picked up the shade Amber. And this is what it looks like. It's just this little tube. And I think I picked this up after watching Too Much Mouth here on YouTube. And she really liked it in her video where she did like first impressions with the stuff she purchased from the sale. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really have like acne brewing right now. A lot of the stuff on my face are just dark spots that I don't know when and if they're ever going to go away. But it is what it is. It's calling. I'll call them back. Um, 
but this is the wink stamp from kaja um i'm just gonna try it out i don't even have too much to say about it but i'm gonna try it out and see how it goes because i'm not good at wing liner not at all <laughs> so i figured this might help me out to see if it's possible and it just may be um okay this was just a dumb little impulse buy but i've really been loving glass straws as you can see i have one in this smoothie don't mind me with this big uh, smoothie cup <laughs> but i don't ever put it in anything else but i love glass straws they're easy to clean they're safe for the environment whatever so sephora had this cute little set with four different colors because the ones i have are just plain white and a little brush cleaner i mean a straw cleaner it's my brush cleaner okay moving right along and i don't even know if i'm really gonna like this but i saw a video with this girl using it it made her skin look so good but this is the lawless look clean af flawless finish makeup and i think this is woke up like this I'm not sure if this is old or not, or it's just that liquidy, but look how it looks in the packaging. Oh, excuse, excuse me, sorry. Um, so I like try to give it a shake and it moves around. So I guess maybe once I pump it out, I'll try it. It has a, like, uh, a funny scent. It smells like perfume. So I'm gonna try it, sample it on my skin, and hopefully it doesn't do anything to it. But I got the shade Heat. Um, the shade above that seemed like it would have probably been too light because my face is a little bit lighter than my neck, but my chest is light too, so we shall see. But I really liked the packaging. The packaging is really nice, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I picked up two products from, I don't Ilia, Ilia, I don't, sorry if I'm butchering it, I apologize, um, but I picked up a bronzer and a highlighter, um, there was this beautiful melanin model on their website with this stuff on it, and I was just like, I want my skin to look like that, and I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a go, and we'll see, but this is a highlighter, and this is in this shade Starstruck. I swatched it before. Um, before this, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try to give you a glimpse of it. Shoot, you, it's really, you really can't see it, but it's the lightest little sheen. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I don't care, but it looked good on that model. And if I could find a picture to insert it in this video to show you guys, on their little on their instagram page i will definitely do that because it's worth seeing and this bronzer it looks light when you first swatch it but i believe if you build it up sorry i already swatched it if you build it up you'll get you'll get what you're looking for um see my thing with bronzers are i pick out deeper bronzers and once i put them on they tend to look muddy so i think i need to dial it back a notch and not think that oh, i'll have to get this shade because technically i'm melanin complected i don't have to do that i can get one that's not that deep see this is what it looks like but i think if i build this up see it it's a nice tone to wear as though I could get away with it without looking muddy and just look like I have a natural bronze look going on. So we'll see. I'm excited. I am excited. Moving right along. Oh, what's the, I should have did this before. This is the Kosas Moisturizing Break Baked Bronzer, which I'm kind of mad at because I think I should have got medium. Um... Kelsey Brianna J here on YouTube got medium and it looks so good on her skin. And this deep one is like deep, 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 deep. And I probably could have got medium and worked with it. But this is deep. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to swatch it. But I think it's going to be a little bit too deep for me. I might can make it work. I just maybe should use. Oh, that's pretty. I think when I use it, I'm going to use 
like a stippling type brush to wear as though that's pretty though never mind never mind i take that back maybe it's not too deep i just have to use the right tools putting it on because if i go hand with one of these pigments these brushes that pick up a lot of pigment whoo that ain't gonna be right for you girl i'm not even gonna lie um can we just talk about my brows right quick so i had my eyebrows um laminated microbladed last year like um january 2019 and I love them i went back in february before all this stuff jumped off which i'm glad i did and now all i really do is like clean them up myself i take a little razor lift that brow up and go right up under this arch and i'm good to go like tie brows dc you are the goat like i'm not even playing and i found her thanks to samaj here on youtube thank you girl uh okay next up um, I picked up the Patrick Ta. I think I'm missing some stuff because I picked up the Patrick Ta brush that goes with this. I probably didn't need it, but I picked it up anyway. And this is just the little brow thing that pretty much will make you look like you got laminated brows. I don't really have that much brow hair, but I got a little something going. But this is the packaging. It's gorgeous. Excuse the lights. How do you open it? Oh, duh, Crystal. So this is what she looks like. It's just clear. And, oh, it has a little nice size mirror. But it will just give your eyebrows the look of, like, you got them laminated pretty much. So I'm excited to try that. Um, I picked up a little Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. That's nothing too big. Um uh mel thompson here on youtube recommended this pat mcgrath lip balm i probably need some on right now because my lips feel a little dry from all this talking and this is the color and this is a color blow up oh it feels good on the lips mm. oh, it doesn't really have a smell but of course this packaging is the bomb My lips look a little juicy. Let me put my lip right here. Darn it. So I'm done this whole video with something on the side of my lip. Um, I picked up a color switch. Another one. I have a little baby mini one. So I picked up a bigger one. I'm trying to think. I don't even remember ordering this. But I guess I did. And that's that. Um, I picked up a Machino 2A2. I really like the scent of this. I had a little sample that I got with points. Look at this packaging, y'all. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Look at that with the teddy bear. So I figured I could put this in my bag. This is like one of those travel sprays. But it's very... I like it. I didn't know if I really wanted to commit to a, a full size one. I probably should have. But this will do me right nice. Because I still have the smaller one. I'm trying to figure out where is that other bag. Because I had something else. Because I had that kombucha in it. Oh, here's this old sample size one I had. So I still have all of this in here. So not to mention all the 5,000 other perfumes I have. Um, I picked up a Gucci lipstick. And this is in Carol Beige. I wanted Susan Nude, but it was sold out. Damn it. So this is Carol Beige. I can put this on with the brown lip liner and we're good to go. The one thing about this Gucci stuff, I love the packaging too, by the way. Very fancy. It has the strongest scent, like a perfume scent. I ain't really feeling that, but what can you do? And I picked up a Lawless Classic Cream Lipstick in the color shade, I mean shade, in the shade Suede. And this is the packaging, simple. And this is the color. I'm going to swatch that one too. So this is Suede, this is Power Play, and this is Amaretto. Um, of course, they're in the same family this is has a little magnet thing i love those lipsticks like that um and i think that's about it um i don't think i have anything else but that's enough <laughs> to be honest um oh and i told you i picked up that patrick Ta brush because that went out of stock and i was pissed because i had it in my cart and i went back to like look at some other stuff and when i went back 
it was out of stock but then it restocked and I was able to get it I'm just a brush fanatic I have like 5,000 brushes but that is it for my Sephora haul I hope you guys enjoyed it vlog style no makeup haul whatever the next video I'm gonna have some makeup on I'm gonna make it a point to have some makeup on I miss you guys and hopefully I can get back into swing of things and I'll catch you guys back on my channel I hope don't forget to thumbs up comment below subscribe tell me what you got at the sale and let's talk love you guys bye